What up, Forward Family? It's Forward Fabian back again with a video for the channel. I'm doing a reaction to BTS John Cook. Still with you, the lyric video. This is actually recommended to me, and as I mentioned in prior videos, I've been getting to a long list of uh, recommendations from the people. So I got a whole notepad list, and I try to get through them one by one as quickly as possible to just revisit more requests and get through everything y'all guys recommend. You know, I'm a man of the people. Man. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Follow me on all my socials, Fort Worth Fabian. I do have a Jung Cook playlist. You know, there was a point last year or so to where I got into a, a little. It was like a little snowball of just you know um, all Jung Cook stuff. You know, and I think he was kind of separating himself more prominently as a solo artist. So I was you know pretty much eating that whole the golden album. I think it's called you know uh, eating that up. No, no pun intended. Pause. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, support the content. If you're a BTS fan, support the content. I have a BTS playlist as well. And much love to everybody who's taking time out to watch the video, man. I pray that the uh, peace, love, prosperity, goodness, grace, and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ touches every single one of y'all today, man. I hope y'all having a blessed day. So let's get into this video. The light voice passes by me and I please call my Loving them keys in the background right now. take it back i think there's a depth behind these two bars here that he kind of mentions uh dark night with no light i shouldn't get used to it but i've gotten used to it what people don't really understand is i mean uh people don't really take time to sit in the silence you know sit you know in the night but what comes with the night is quiet you know obviously the world is resting in certain cities and then there's a certain silence that's tied to that and then he follows it up with the sound of the AC. If I don't even have this, I think I'm going to fall apart. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of us have to sleep with the AC and the fan on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to have the fan running. And if it's hot during the summer, I'm going to have the AC running. Uh, there's something about that whirring sound with the fan or just like um, as you feel and hear the, the air come through the vents that it's just. It's like a metronome. It kind of just puts you in a peaceful state. It kind of just like a, uh, like, I don't even know, a trance type of state that helps you fall asleep. So it's deep when he says, if I don't even have this, I think I'm going to fall apart. I cannot sit and sleep in silence when it's just dead quiet. And let's say you live in a major city to where you're hearing, like you maybe live next to the railroad tracks. You're hearing the train pass by. You can hear a pin drop. That's just weird to me. That's odd. <laughs>
be if I see you again face to face? I'll look you in the eye and say I missed you. So we're getting a huge context behind separation, breakup, the void, maybe missing. Uh, there's nothing else that's replacing that emptiness. So he's extremely stressing, you know. If I see you again face to face, I look you in the eye and say I missed you. You really don't. A lot of people don't tend to appreciate things until it's lost. You know, love lost is definitely appreciated, especially if it was a good love. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's a certain thing that comes with uh, separation distance makes the heart fonder. But at the same time, I think that sometimes it's not even just separation and distance. It's it's over. It's done. But I did lose something pretty good. You know, I realize it now. And that's the kind of pain you got to really sit with and you got to let it sit within your soul a little bit. Uh, we make mistakes and sometimes they're costly, right? We can't get things back. We lose them permanently and it's a life lesson. So we're moving forward. You ain't going to really treat somebody or make that mistake again. <laughs> Cook still with you lyrics, man. I don't know who did him wrong, but man, uh, I think this is just a certain, it's a certain thing where you can understand somebody's writing a song from a, a, a place of experience. It's one thing if you know you just have good songwriters and they can pin a very heartfelt, felt, touching record for you and that captivates the masses and the audience. But uh, when you put somebody, in, you put yourself in somebody's shoes that's experienced this, sometimes you it's relatable because you more than likely experienced it too. But then other times it blows your mind because they're able to convey so much emotion, maybe love, loss, sadness uh, through the lyrical content. So it's very deep. It's very deep. You know, uh, I definitely enjoyed the song. You know, John Cook's voice is just, as natural as one can get, you know, um, it's very soothing to listen to him. And then, uh, you know, the the hint of the keys, the piano trinkling in the background, it even seems like at a point in time we got some uh, some rain sound effects that kind of just fit the mood of the music. So much love, man. Much love to those who recommended the content. Shout out Jung Cook. I'm excited for him to come back. I think I did see a clip or some content with him more recently, but I do know the last time that um, I, I really you know, saw some stuff from him was the Standing Next to You remix he did with Usher. And a lot of people said he had to take a break because he had to rejoin the military or something. Like That's crazy to me that he's this global renowned superstar, but you know where he's from. They, you know, it's not even a question. They have to, you know, uh, re-enlist back into the military and then take some time away to serve, which is very commendable. But it's just, uh, I just didn't know it was like that there <laughs> at all. When somebody told me he's going to go back to them, I was like, what? <laughs> huh? So I don't know, man. That's just unique in its own. Maybe he'll come back with a, a bit more grit, tenacity. Who knows what he, he's going to be like when he returns. But, uh, yeah, John Cook. Uh, shout out to him, man. Peace, love, prosperity. Everybody took the time out to watch the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my playlists. I'll link to them in the description and in the comment section. And we'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace, love, prosperity. God bless y'all.